By that, it means immediately after the meeting, we'll be communicating, or before the closing hour, we'll be informing you how the shift will look like, the areas you force within. Then again, we are still going to look at the numbers of OC he has. Why he was appointing OCs, we know uh, it's, a, it's a call to serve. So most of our leaders accept with a, a, in a good faith due to the pain they have for the state. operation for effective for much effectiveness so I uh, will know that you know there are times when a captain asks uh, uh, a brigadier to do some assignment there's a way we feel these are some of the lapses we have been observing today stand position to correct some of this uh, area see this exercise we are one and I've always commend everybody for using the one mind in carrying out this exercise or this work. Because the success you have recorded cannot be overemphasized. The success you have recorded within the three months of operation has, has get to show that when the former IG said we need to work with the local vigilantes which our state governor have modified today to the state security network. So uh, by that, we will also ensure that the monitoring of those uh, SSIs will be adequately taken care of. Then in terms of our welfare, the leaders will be meeting to work directly with the government on how our welfare will be well taken care of. We still re-emphasize again, no matter how it is, the odds we have been facing for some time. Let us still have it. I believe we are on a probation. A probation when you are employed in any services, even in the security outfit. Sometimes you have six months of probation. Your salary will not be paid. Your uh, allowance will not be given. But at the end of six, nine months, these things will just come easily. We know the governor in his own wisdom have a good uh, intention and he will always do it right so let us not be afraid of that we are aware of logistics on the way in terms of vehicle and other materials so let us not be afraid let's intensify the operation so that we can get it right a large number of the society today they are applauding your efforts based on the fact that Benin City today they can sleep with two eyes closed. So I think that is a plus to you. So uh, we will create a little time for information from various ends. While we wait a little for our coordinator to walk in, then we will just go straight to the other side of it. While we are waiting for him, in terms of uh, administrative building, that one is fast uh, on the hand so that between now and next week, we will, we, might, we would have settled that. Within this week, we would have settled that. Next week, this meeting, you will be holding it in your administrative center. We will not, we will not wait for the government alone. If we have waited for all these years, the work we have been doing, nobody would have done it for us. So we will still continue in good faith. And uh, so long the outfit is consigned, the government have a way to gazette it. While we are waiting for government, 
Wales will also have a rethink on how the possible way to also formalize it in line with the Constitution. Every outfit here is registered with the Corporate Affair Commission. So that makes it joint. That is the, uh, 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 upon the certificate which we are operating. Don't be afraid, you are within the conference of the law. You are not outside the conference of the law. Thank you. I think you would have waited for that. Okay? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Why is no leave for the money, sir? My fellow stakeholders and commanders. I actually want my name is uh, Dr. Samson Oifido, representing <laughs> Safe Homeland. I actually want to appreciate the efforts of every one of us. In your little way, you have contributed that mounted to the huge success that is being recorded. And even our people in diaspora are commending our efforts. Other security agencies are, commend, are commending our efforts. This wouldn't have been if not your selfless services that you have been given to make Edo State a peaceful place for habitation. It's not even enough, words are not enough to express my heart felt gratitude to our leaders, especially the men that are championing this cause in persons of uh, Emmanuel Obo, the state coordinator, and Mr. Stanley Osayende, and uh, Izobo, and the rest of them. There was a time I got to know that Stanley Osayende have not slept. Even the children have not seen him for the past two months to the extent that the, one of them had to cry and the mother had to bring the child to the base here. I'm going to see my age, my the man, the man has child. not been sleeping at home. The children have not been seeing him. He is always on ground. Izobo is always on ground. Even when he had sustained very serious injuries, he was on top. He was still moving. I actually want to beg every one of us. I actually want to appeal to every one of us that we have started very well. One thing is sure. If this zeal that we have at the beginning, we have it to the end, then the world and even our conscience will say to us, congratulations. That is the truth. To start a race is good, but how do you end it? Our ending it, we must. Our ending it, we must redouble. Our ending it, we have to redouble our efforts so that we can achieve our goal. Yes, I am a, I'm, I'm aware that most of these security bodies or outfits or formations have been on ground for years. Having this 
sacrificial services to the society. We are coming from New Benin, we are going to Oba Palace. We are now at Ring Road. We didn't faint while we were at Mission Road Junction. We should not faint when we are at Ring Road. I encourage every one of us. Even the people who we are saying that they are terrorists, they consider us to be terrorists to them. I'm just telling you the truth. I, I have been doing what is called social opinion sampling. And I discovered that even other security formations, they are relying on us. And they are applauding our efforts. So if people are relying on you, they are relying on you. The government is now wanting to rely on you. Even the traditional rulers, the community leaders, are relying on you. Will you fail them? That is how I want to end my speech. Thank you. or six hours service sir. It should be 12 hours. We we'll work, the operation can work from this morning to tomorrow morning while the two IC will work from tomorrow morning to the other morning sir. That's my suggestion sir. Thank you sir. not in competition with other security agents. The reason why is this. They are constitutionally, we have a limit. Our, our activities mainly is to fight the crime. Our coming on board is born out of the insecurity within our states, the challenges within our environment. So therefore, while we are meeting with other security agencies, most especially conventional security agencies, we should address them properly. And this has to serve as a good uh, point to appeal to our commanders while you are discharging your duties before the populace encourage your men, your officers and men to always see the reasons, the essence to work with other security agencies. Uh, the idea of tomorrow we'll be hearing complaints that the police are in uh, show with the state security network, the leaders will not take it from any end. Rather, the Nigerian Army or the Navy or rather the Coastal. What do they need from you is your introduction. Be polite while you are dealing with them. Also extend this to your men. I give a good example. A few days ago, the officers and men of New Benin Police Station, they met me on the way and they said, who are you? I introduced myself. Even when I was with this uh, tag, he said, park where? I parked. Calm down. I came down. So he said, can I know you more? I showed them my identity card. He said, further introduction. I said, I'm the state admin. <coughs> if you doubt me, can we now go inside the car so that you see some of the evidence, the documents? 
said, okay, you are free to go. I went quietly. But whereas, if it happened to be some of our young men, they would have been irrational. He was an eyewitness. So please, let us be very, very polite while we are addressing our uh, 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 sisters' agents, other security agencies. We are complimenting their effort. So we are not to compete with them. Uh, there are some other activities that we need to take care of within this next week. Last two weeks, the CSO to the governor led a team towards uh, Onwan River behind Odiri after Okoko environment. So the aftermath was full of enhancement or uh, uh, bandits have decided to unleash mayhem on members of our community. So since then we have been discussing with indigenous from that area. I think uh, we are we need to also assist them to protect these communities of ours. Even though I'm not from that environment, so long I'm from Edo State, and the community reside in Edo State. So it's part of our state. So we must do everything humanly possible to assist these communities in ensuring that they come back to their home. They can go to their farm freely. So between the, within the week, we also meet with the leaders so that we update them, the readiness of the community, so that next week, whatever assistance we need to also give, we we'll also go and assist those of our brothers. Meanwhile, in terms of logistics and others, are already be put in place. Uh, while that is going on, we have had much about your efforts. Thank God those who threatened that between on the first and on the third could not uh, exercise their they are uh, uh, threats. The reason why is because they know you are out there to confront them. We no longer see it in a hidden place. Whether you are a henchman, you are a Fulani uh, bandit, whichever group you belong to that is perpetuating evil, we are not hiding for you. We are waiting for you at any time, any day. That's why they are calling uh, I, I, I must commend your effort again for those who witnessed what happened right in this ring road the very first day, that on the first. It was a drama. At that night, three hillers and one Toyota uh, uh, Yaris came out from Aquapava. And this Toyota Hilux is not the same design we see here in Edo State. And as God will have it, those of us who were on ground at uh, the King Square, we were able to forestall them with the level we are able to barricade a, a YSA, which is a forestry, then a Pakpava and the Oba Market Road. It was barricade. So that once you are entering the town, you cannot just have easy access to Oba Market Road. So it will take you to turn. And once you turn, it means you are now facing that airport road or this way. So it will be easier for us to monitor. So we accosted them. They told us they are security agents, they are identity card and others. So we allowed them to move. In another 30 minutes, less than 30 minutes, our protocol officer put on radio what he also witnessed. So others were now at large. That night, in fact, if you see the kind of driving they drove in this town, so we decided to call the authority, though their numbers could not connect. It was in the morning of it. Let me go back again. They came in after 12. They drove out of this place. 
after 11 to 12. Then 1.30, they came back. They enter Chaplet Road. 3.30, they came back. They enter uh, Chakomba Road. 4.30, they came back. The three hillers drove from here, and only the Toyota uh, uh, Yaris now take towards the uh, airport road. The funniest thing about it was, we tried to confirm from authority, none of them was aware of their movements. The following day, the mobile unit from uh, State CID told us, if we can get them, please hold them. We want to know who they are. So this gets to tell us that most especially, why I'm saying this is, I'm emphasizing it, is the OC operation. To note that the base is a stronghold of this exercise. And that is the more reason we said it must be 24 hours operation. If, for instance, no men were on ground, they have come to mire the environment. What do you think would have happened to us? So it gets to show that this is how some of the explosives we are hearing in the north are taking place. They will come on a disguise, plant it at the end of the day. The following morning, you see one Abokima will just come close to the area and detonate it. How did the bomb get to that place? Have you asked yourself? All those bombs you see that explode, when were they planted? It means this thing has been done at night. So why uh, we are ever ready and be prepared? That is the more reason we said from this evening, every commanders, your operational areas, we are going to be going around to ensure that you are on ground. We want to make sure it's community to community. A good example, like we will continue to say, is Sakumba Road. At Lisbon Gate by Igun Junction, there is a roadblock there from 10 o'clock. This night, come and see. Then, second, uh, before second junction area, there is a roadblock there. Then, by second junction again, there is a roadblock. First junction, there is a road. So, you find between Sakomba Road, uh, Ring Road, and second junction, you have three roadblocks. No matter how hard the criminal. They have recorded a lot of good laws and criminals due to this exercise. Please encourage us. Encourage the state. <laughs> so, uh, before we finally, before we finally go out of uh, that uh, segment of uh, our attentions have been drawn to so many impersonations. So many persons impersonating with various uh, outfit uniform. A good example was when we saw a man that was lifeless at uh, Uselu Environ. So we placed it on the platform and nobody could identify him up to date. And he was wearing a vigilante uniform. So that was a good example for us to have learned a lesson. That is why the leaders, in collaboration with the state government, is not in a hurry to come up with the uniform. They want to have a specific design so that you cannot easily impersonate. And therefore, to various outfits who have been using their own, please ensure that is well properly monitored. And again, to those who are selling these uh, materials, we are placing restriction on it. Except your outfit leaders who gave such order, if we find it outside, displaying it, you have no option. Whether you are OPC, you, are, you must interrogate the person. Find out who he is. Let him call the OPC governor. If he's the governor that gave him rights to start selling those uh, materials there. If he's not, if you cannot handle the situation, call for backup so that we assist you. I think this will help to control. Then again, most of our men, 
Once you come across any of other uh, uh, outfits, he should be able to introduce himself. We don't want to hear a situation will begin to embarrass ourselves. If it's VGN, please can I know you better? Can you place the call to your boss? Let me talk to him. Either uh, Toronto or Mr. Imafidon. So once you hear their voice, you should be able to recognize who they are. But most of these things we are talking about centered between both of them. Most of this uniform we are talking about. So please, why we the state, why we the state are doing our own homework, please also assist us with your monitoring team to start going around, your commanders. If not, it will not only bring a bad name, but it will not help in some situation. Uh, thank you very much for, for that, uh, so that uh, we can continue. Thank you. Good morning. I like speaking my language because I'll use little one. I'll beg all the OCs and all the commanders. Uh, we choose an OC for the work to do somehow no stress to the operation. But as I've one thing, the OCs, they not share the body and they are on their own. It's not good to this body. I will beg this. Then secondly, any commander that go to operation, before you go to the operation, pass your information. Because at the end of all story today, they will call, they will call few people to the government as, okay, give us your update of operation throughout the week. You will not see and say, a go giving O to uh, CCID. B go giving O to area command. C go giving O to other places. At the end of the day, we no go see and gather. It cause one stress one day. This man, our state admin, all, almost use no less than one hour for call. They give the call one one commander. How many operations you carry go police? How many of, and these are not the system what we put for ground. Now lay here go beg everybody. All the commander, you know me say yeah, somebody they rule you know, so that all this thing what would they do together will go fix the submit and once because all your operations are supposed to go through my office and the all reports to go through my office to the admin, then the admin will not push it to the state coordinator, then the state coordinator will have to push it to the leader, but today we are taking it personal. Choosing an OC is to make sure the work go round. But today, they are separating it, and which is not too good for us. I don't get much to say. Because when we come to separation, some people are very good for separation. And when we start it, it will go a very long way. But together we stand, divided we fall. So this divider make we come out for our system. Moku tribe, by all means, Moku Komota, Moku Combato together so that we feel move to the next level. I don't get much to say down. I beg, may the commander, may their report, they go to the appropriate place, than separating it within yourself with personal interest. If you continue with personal interest, some people will gain it and some people will lose it. And we are, all of us are supposed to gain it together. So now only waiting I get to that. And for the uniform, I will still talk here. For any commander to go on operation, you see VGN, you say you don't know him. You see SSV, you say you don't know him. You see Area Bible, you say you don't know him. You see OPDA, you say you don't know him. I beg, more could disease from that one. Because you get where you go reach. Anybody like me, if you do want to me two, three, four times, I'll tell my lawyer to write to you. Now, I'll tell you why I registered my body under the CAC. It will come be personal. And this one will go good to everybody. So I beg, more could try, more could go with one unity. I'll leave it in I need to talk put with this. God bless you all.
Uh, little advice and uh, observation we will bring out now our touch of that. I am the deputy commander, commandant of the Latin group of Nigeria, as Ali Sokoto faction. Where is the commandant of the Latin group of Nigeria, Jao faction? That in those states, we have decided to do things together. Why? Because of this uniform and so many things where they go. May they not come put me and uh, him for <laughs> problem <laughs> one day. And I so much thank my admin when he brings this matter to That VGN is a registered body, vigilante group of Nigeria. Now, body of your home, not be at your Bible, at the hell you can put VGN Honda. Or uh, Balogba vigilante, at the hell you can put VGN Honda. You are impersonating. Okay. May I make a clear to you now? And you, we enter here because you see one man they sell uniform inside Monto. They write VGN. When you know, they hear VGN, 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 you know as VGN take come on board. VGN was founded 1983. Most of us were small that time, so they were even born some. And it was duly registered. 1999. You don't know how long it takes before the coffee register them. Then you tomorrow, yesterday, you your commissary and go, you begin by the polo, by the face cap, by everything. You don't know the commander. You don't know anybody. My plate number for my motto is VGN 02. It's duly registered. 02. And they drive the pass, they go to South Road that day. I see people wear VGN, VGN, they carry go. They don't know me. Me, I don't know them. The uniform where they wear, now my plate number. <laughs> they see them, but they don't know me, I don't know them. Me go to say I'm my own. I go to say I'm my own. But today, we don't do meeting. We don't do work together. So I beg, charity they say begins at home. If we are here to sanitize outside, more first sanitize ourselves. Stop impersonating your polo. If you be community vigilante, like Ikobahana, I'm the head of vigilante Ikobaha. And the local government can also give me an opportunity or give me a duty to coordinate other uh, local government, uh, other uh, villages and uh, community vigilante. Would they inaugurate them? How do I do it? We get from what they give them is our way. If we don't screen, do everything. I advise those people say, you say you are a community vigilante. Write that your community name. If it is Osayande community, write Osayande community vigilante. Write down for your district. And if you are having an handicap, your your way or the head of that community should say because now they bring their own council. After I don't do that one, if you want to join this, side, then we not pack on. Come here to major up with her. The state security body, because you as a community vigilante are not supposed to end there. You must come here so that everybody will know you, so that you also they give us situation report here, because here now is the offer and the Omega the headquarters here, because we are dealing with the government direct. So I beg more first and that's ourselves. All those polo ones are the wear. Mona removal for body. If except you are a member of Vigilante Group of Nigeria, we have our different ID cards. We get ID cards. We have gone to a series of trainings here and beyond. And that body is not only for a do, it's Nigeria as a whole. So that one aside. Then the second one, this movement of a team. Many of our commanders they pay deaf year. To that movement of a team. Like yesterday, no, day before yesterday, I did upper. Many people know me say I've been an upper person. I saw a group of vigilantes from here carry this kind of thunder motor with one other motor. That's why they blow siren. They go up and down. 
They are around 7.30, then they come back. Upper is not your jurisdiction. Anywhere will not be your jurisdiction. When you are going there, you must call the head yes, where they there. That's it. That's it. If you don't know the head, quickly reach out to me or the operation. Say, would they go up how I beg who be the head then one corner so that may know say with they That's on it. ground. That's so that more not come miss up because they say would they use our vigilante they the thief. People are saying it will use our uniform they the thief. Now we they pursue the thief. And the thief they call they wear our uniform too. Okay. More not come join together. Because if we do on ground, people they call like that. You don't know them. They don't, they don't say that they call your domain. Anything can happen. For instance, even though first headquarters for Abuja they call arrest for Bini here, they must call the commissioner. And when they are coming, they will bring that state here at the headquarters. From there, if the area they go to Ugbekun, they will call Ugbekun. The people as they are going, they also branch Ugbekun division. Before they go where they, they go. If they don't know the area, Ubeku, and Ubeku DPO can give them some policemen to assist them. If we are there here, your division, your jurisdiction uh, is gone, and you get information from Kobaha, or maybe we are apprehend suspect, you say, okay, they are corporate there, Kobaha, please, you must try and reach out with the Kobaha commander. They're not going turn to another problem. Yesterday, around nine, somebody called me at uh, Jesus Christ Road. He's just a citizen, free citizen. He said, people catch thief. And the thief called, talk, say, in second man, day Jesus Christ Road. Those who are your carry two motor, load them, load the one with the cash. They all come, no vigilante among them, nothing, nothing. They just come Jesus Christ. What can bust that one? As they reach that side now, area boys, they made a take. While I begin to start. As he comes, that's okay. Don't worry. Me and Richard to Ogbe. Because me, they are okay. We could call Ogbe. Me intervene. So make that kind of thing, you know, because not be everybody get this security idea. That they try to give everybody now. When you are going to any operation in the area that is not yours, please contact your guy where they there. I beg. Thank you very much. Please, uh, let's see how we manage time. I think two minutes will be okay for each uh, computer. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <coughs> Good morning. Good morning. Straight to the point, sir. Good morning. I greet your ask. Permit me to stand on the existing people. Like what my your name, sir? My name is Olu Femi Kashmir. I'm the new secretary. Commander of the city. And everything what they are talking about. You. So I just want to throw light into it, like my the, the last speaker. You see, your own is vigilante in vigilante group of Nigeria in Upper. I believe there is another vigilante in Upper. There is Area Bible, there is OPDA, there is OPC. So what do we do? You will let us have those people's number. Because we cannot just say it's only you, because for example, now we have a issue. We have operation going to in upper. Maybe if they call your number, it will not go. So they might call OPDA, they might call OPC, they might still call the government vigilante because me, I'm government vigilante from government house. Also, that is what I'm trying to say. Then, in the other hand, no OC is doing this work on his own. No OC is having self uh, interest. All we are doing here is to make sure that we get the good. You understand? like uh, my own area now. I know the way I'm taking care of my area. But my own grievances is this, I will tell you people. I don't want somebody to be taking it as if I'm working with him. That's it. I must say the truth, because if I cannot say the truth, and I see you tomorrow morning, I'm playing with you. It means I'm a snake. Okay, give us suggestion. Suggestion is this. You told us that there is going to be a form, that form that will be submitting, that if we arrest any, if we take any suspect to the station, there is a form. We will draw some form in the after filling it, the policeman will sign, some will be with us. So if that if there is that kind of form, I beg that they should give it to all OC. So when I'm through with my operation, I can submit it with the the admin. The the admin that's the secretary to the operation. That's one side. In the other side again, me, if I'm going for operation, I will not tell anybody this is the area I'm going for operation. 
It has happened to me once, twice, thrice. I told people that I'm going to so-so-so area. Getting to that place, I did not see one fly. I continue to wonder that how manage this thing not happen. So, so if I'm going, for, I didn't say I'm not accusing anybody. But if I'm going for any operation again, I might tell the admin or the operational head I'm going to operation. Which location I will let you know. I don't know whether you understand. I'm not saying that there because by the time I say this, we are going to. At the end of the day, I will not see the person again. The one we did with uh, Testami Road Police Station, you were there now. The one we did with Testami, I called the DPO. The DPO gave me 10 men to the place, my brother. That place is a domain where you fish out all these bad, bad ones. To, to my greatest surprise, thank God you were there. We did not see one person. No, I know that one is police because I did not tell any of our vigilantes this is where we are going to. So please, sir, what are, my own uh, suggestion is this. Nobody is disobeying anybody. As an OC, if you go to state CID, there is OC... Uh, yes, they all see anti cutties OT as a robbery, OC crack, OC this. So let us take it as division of labor so that we'll know what we are doing. Thank you very much. I've already done something now. I've already done something now. I don't have something Good morning, sir. When you raise up your hand, quickly look at protocol. Good morning, sir. My name is our chief, I go to In addition to what my brother just said, for me, I'm not disobeying anybody. But if we want us to have a common goal, we must respect ourselves. Say, respect is reciprocal. You cannot tell me to, if I want to do anything, I should come and report here to the operation. I admit, I will never do that over my dead body. Is that according? Uh, sir, I have a reason, sir. Oh, sorry, no, I that. Uh, yes. Yeah, I know what I mean, sir. You will not die. Okay, I return. I return. If I have anything to do, either I call the state coordinator or I call the state that me. Save me. Come and tell the operational head. I will not do that, sir. Because the reason is this. If somebody is feeling is the head of everything, I want to bring somebody down, I cannot move with some person. I value this man. Why I value this man? He has my respect for me, I have his respect for him. I know you, sir. Although there was a you came to my beat in one church, when they invited me in one church. When I heard that you were there, I came. And I saw sitting there, I left. I told your man that I'm the commander in this area. That is respect. I cannot sit down as a chief because you're a professional, you say, oh boy, oh boy. I cannot move with such person, sir. That is my grievance. Person like that I cannot move with him. So cut me out to his side. All right, so this is. Can I quickly correct something? It is the most superior that gives compliments. Not everybody says moins and moins. I'm sorry about that. I'm an instructor. So when he, he comes in, there is supposed to be an alert. You say, stand still. Everybody stand still. And then when he comes in, the most superior here will now give the compliment. Moins, sir. Thank you very much. My name is uh, Godwin Ogidigbo. Uh, st starting on the existing protocols, I want to talk on the area of uh, the Edo State, Secure Edo State Joint Community Vigilante Network cards that is uh, going right now on distribution. Uh, I want to suggest that all commanders and other head of a department should take note that this card is, is, is still on distribution. It has not gone around the entire Edo State. Many persons have not been able to, have not at, uh, uh, achieved theirs. So I had a rumor and some challenges that when some wear this card and they meet others who does not have the card, 
they will say the person is not part of uh, those state security network. They start challenging themselves. Uh, if they do that, I think that will result to serious war among themselves. The others is ready to fight back because he will tell you I'm a vigilante officer and I'm well known in Edo State. For the fact that I have not be able, I have not obtained this card does not make me not a member. So may they get that one back of their mind. Say the card, they see the circulator. Even at me, can, can attest to that that they are still pretty more. Even for VGM, at me never even give us the the real number where we need for VGM. They never cover them. So. We gonna take that to heart. When you see somebody, the thing you should ask of where is your ID card identifying you, even though the person wear uniform. Uniform is not a, a pathway. If you are not with uniform at all at all, but you are with ID card, you can from here go Abuja and come back. All security personnel will recognize you. But if you wear uniform without an ID card, you are a fascinating. So just ask the person where is your ID card. If the person cannot provide this ID card, then you can apprehend the person. Then you can apprehend the person. Even though the person said that my ID card is at home, I forgot it in my car. Don't worry, just follow us to any nearby division. Your organ will come and identify you the next morning, and you will leave without any problem. It is better that way. That is for that. Secondly, the issue of uh, our platform. The way our manner we use our platform, our platform is more or less like a control room for now, since we have not have a mass that control our walkie-talkie. So that platform is more or less like walkie-talkie. If somebody offend us, well, several times we have seen that they started quarreling among themselves inside the platform without calling the individual person to, uh, to, to, to ask him why or not. If somebody do something wrong, and you know that it's not in accordance with the, the rules of the organization, if you love the person, call the person's private line. This thing where you do no good. Though. I've been a mistake you to do him. Now you and he in Josh Yeram. But if you just throw for a pastor and say, this thing you do no good, everybody, you don't disgrace the person to all other, other persons who are in that platform. So that shameless go make the person want to reply you. Uh -huh. So we could use that also. Or you want to report issues? We don't have that time. Do you understand? We don't have that time. First of all, let me answer the first question about the card issue. We even discuss here that they are going to give to the commanders first. And now, what the commander have, if he's going to operation, other other we make a work with him with that card, depending where they have their own. You cannot send me to go and work without the commander not be with them. Do you get the point? We said it here. That is where it should be. But I will say that with a, with a, when, when you are doing something, we have to be very careful. We have to be very careful in the sense that even there are some people who do not even have personal ID card, we detail them to work with people who have ID card. We have been doing it, two of us. Then we have some people who say to go and keep this or certain place. Because okay, okay, they are going there about five. At least two persons will have gone. I mean, have to to work with. All of them must not have. Must not, must not have. So sending somebody to go and keep a bit. I do not have a tag. And when you be accosted or ask questions, you are saying that I challenge the person, they want war. Yes, you want war for not doing what is right. That is the truth. Let all of us say the truth. We should learn to do what is uh, right. If they are commander, let them come. If they are not commanders, sir, they, they, they say seven o'clock, they will not be coming back to ten. Let them come. No, you need to give don't worry. When they come. Commander, if it's a commander, he can come and still the commander will we'll address them. Those that came is... late, they'll pay for the shares. We are rented this money. They'll pay. If they are commander, let them come. This is how you come and pay for the share. We cannot use my money for all this kind of rubbish. That is the truth. And for next time, Ogidi Gold, let me address you personally. Next time, never you waste our time again. If you want to ask questions, other will learn from this. Go straight. Go straight. Ask the question and let us rest. And even sometimes when you're on the media, I mean, you're on our platform, you will talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and you're wasting my credit to. We are buying data. <laughs> what did he, everybody knows you, you're giddy go. My name is so, 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 and so, rest, 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 rest. Not necessary. Let's go straight to the point. Others should learn from that. As an experience officer, as you say you are, you have gone many through training. Use experience to assist others. I always say it. You that have experience, assist those who do not have experience. So we can move to the next level. 
Then we come, you're going to be general training for everybody. And don't expect everybody to be like you. Everybody cannot be like you. It's not possible. Even after passing through the training, everybody cannot still be like you. In school, not everybody gets first class now. No. Not everybody gets two one. And not everybody gets two two. No. Even your own family. Is everybody your family? Is everybody like, are, they all like, are they like you? All of them. I'm asking you, Ogidigbo. Please, eh? don't expect perfection from our people here. Do you understand? And don't expect everybody must be like you. But there must be standard. There must be what? Standard. Take note of your question though. One, if I didn't want somebody to have a card with their miss, come out for them. Depending when they will have their own. Two, uh, using the platform, uh, that one I will quote at me. I told me, I mean already, anybody that drop message on the platform that is not related to security matter, maybe drop in Harvard, uh, drop your nursing message or quarrel and argument, delete the person. Uh, that is at me fault. That is not your fault. It's at, I know that it's not the people's fault. That platform, there are so many people there, but people they don't believe your eye. Where will all of go there, we're going to misbehave. Do, do you understand? Uh, it's at me, I'll quote it straight. Thank you for that one. Uh, uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, we'll take correction to that. Uh, before you arrive, uh, there are issues we have uh, decided to take. Uh, first, we have encouraged all the commanders to ensure that if it from this evening, uh, there's going to be a monitoring team. Any of the, the beats that is not on ground, any of the beats that is not on ground, first, second, third query will replace that person. Then uh, secondly, we have also effect the 24 hours operation to be uh, on a routine between the uh, OC operation and the IC, so that there will be a 24 hours operation. We have, uh, they have agreed starting from this evening. Then uh, again, we have also agreed before you arrive that come Saturday 11 a.m., uh, all uh, vigilante stakeholders to get across to their members in a, a donut, we'll be paying them a visit and pre-commission on that day, 11 a.m. Then again, we also agree that uh, reports should be adequately uh, passed through process. Even though I want to appeal on uh, because it's on uh, it's on air to the information our brother passed, Chief Obodo, uh, in, in, in line with operation. Every procedure must be observed, irrespective of a personal issue. When you have issues, sir, then report to the appropriate quarter so that we look into the exercise. Whatever has happened within this period, please forgive and uh, forget. Let's continue with one mind uh, so that uh, we will arrive at the same time. Because the common enemy, like the state coordinator will always say, is our is the crime. Is the crime. So whatever has happened, let us know so that the leaders will look into that area. So to all other commanders, your report from today, because we have sent the information out before now. Collect the write-up, the handing over notes from uh, our brother, Mr. Ogbemudia, once he's on ground. Collect it from him. Any operation you went, you have gone to, he stated there clearly. Tabulate it. The numbers of uh, 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 suspects, the exhibits recorded. While you are handing over to whichever uh, police station or division or headquarters you take them to, then you, they, they sign receive for you. A copy of that uh, information, pass it back to the uh, OC operation so that OC operation in turn cannot pass it back to, to the admin for further uh, uh, follow-up, so that is that. So we want to appeal to those who are watching us uh, online that uh, that it was not just intentional for a statement, but due to some circumstance we experienced in a few uh, uh, time ago. So it's not a clash of interest. So we are appealing to whoever may have heard that, that uh, from now on, the, that one will be corrected, and it has been corrected. Thank you very much. Then uh, again, we have also agreed that there's going to be a little changes, uh, a modification in terms of our operations. Because the operation, the OC operation, and its two ICs, uh, if we decide to congest the operations on them, it will weigh them uh, much more. Because 
moving from one end to another, like most people have always report, we need to have somebody who is anchoring the commanders in that ASIS. So, as uh, based on the leaderships we have here, so we want to appeal to you in terms of uh, from Third Junction, Upper Sakomba, down to Idobo and Envaro for now. Our brother Festus Balogban will be assisting us to manage those areas. All the commanders there, please help us. Help us while you are moving across board. Then get across to Festus Balogban so that in turn he will be aware you are moving into the area. You are not, your, your moving is not illegal. Then even when you are within, then any of the commanders, most of the commanders, they have his number. I know the first person they will call is him. So once they call, he will tell the man he's already aware. The reason we are restricting it to him is to save your operation. I will know, we trust him. He cannot foil your operation. Then, uh, <laughs> then again, uh, in Uselu Aziz, to Ugbawa and Envaro. You see, this is, this is not within your uh, 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 jurisdiction alone now. You have a jurisdiction you manage between five, uh, Triangle Avenue Junction and Wasota. But in this case, we are adding more responsibility to it. So that anybody moving into that Lagos as is for now to uh, uh, bypass. So our, our brother, our Gafemi, the OC crack, should be contacted. That please, I'm moving into social area for a, 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 a sensitive operation. Then uh, Ajakaye will help us to take care of airport road. Yes, yes, Ajakaye, yes. Yes, yes, sir. So Ajakaye will help us to take care of uh, airport road. Why our brother Ubalama will help us to take care of Upper Ekenwa Road from Asuro down. He will help us to take care of that area. Then uh, our brother Small Baba will help us to Small take Baba care here. of He's on his way, he called. He will help us to take care of from Tezame Junction to Ovia River. Why Jonathan will help us to take care of Ovia River down to Ohosu, Okada and Varon. Then again, uh, there's an if, uh, a, a little effect. You see, you're being a commander in your place. There might be a necessity for us to do some changes due to government uh, interest. The government interest is utmost. Uh, our, uh, the school of heads is a strategic point for us. I believe that you understand what I mean. Then again, the divisional headquarters at Dumez Road is also a strategic position for us. Therefore, our friend, uh, our brother, Commander Babado, Where is he now? Is he here? He's here. Stand up. He will be helping us to take responsibility to support the divisional headquarters there. Then again, to help us place your eye watch, be in charge of School of Heads. Because uh, these are facilities, these are areas they can easily strike. So we will not take chance. Uh, again, our brother Kingsley Omorogwe, that is the OPC uh, uh, governor. So you have been helping us to take care of Raman Park. The Aunchi Road, Agbo Road, uh, you will be saddled with that responsibility. This one we are saying we are going to display their numbers to all the commanders. Then uh, uh, our brother Kokoma, you will be helping us to take care of Sapler Road to bypass. So you'll be helping us to take care of Sapele Road to bypass. I think as we continue to progress, as we continue to progress, we will also uh, do. Okay, Aduawa is a uh, part of. Then again, within that bypass, for now, Amufi Commander will second you. We are going to look at it critically because Aunchi Road and Agbo Road, the areas are very close. Then we have to look at it between both of them 
how to segment it so that it will be easier for us to coordinate. And for now, that is what we have. But within the metropolis here, uh, the operational uh, OC and its two IC for now will still be in charge before we carefully segment that area. We are still waiting for you, sir, because. Uh, Let me quickly comment on this. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You have talked excessively. We have done what we expected from you. You have done well. Thank you, sir. You have, you have done well. Mm. But I want to quickly say this, sir. What do you want to say? I just hold on, please. Come and fix this thing well. I, I just hold it this way. It's all right. No sort of when I'm talking, I use all my hand and my body to talk. Yes. I want to quickly say something. I must comment uh, uh, the admin for doing the needful. Uh, I know he's going to do exactly what I asked him to do. I didn't make mistake when I recommended to be the uh, to be admin in this movement. I call it movement because. Nobody, nothing can stop us. Not to get to where we are going to. That's why I call myself. So thank you very much for holding us, holding brief before I come. And I know uh, I want to say sorry for coming a little bit late, but I was also on another official assignment. I was in the office this morning. Cliff and one of two issues. They also run down to this place. You see, we are given responsibility as a commander. Commander is not a title. I keep on saying this. It's a responsibility. It's not a title. Some of us see it's a title. It's not a title. It's expected that all commanders should have a beat. And your beat should be active 24 hours. That's what it means. All commanders should have a beat. And should be active. And if you say you're a commander, okay, raise a team for me to cover or do a job for me. Can you raise a beat? Can you do that for me? Raise a team. If you cannot raise a team in less than an hour, you're not a commander. That is the truth. I said, give me a team to execute a job. And you are telling me you are not free, you are busy. That means you're not a commander. I told somebody some time ago, he came to me to a go I said, uh, we are just talking, you know. I say he's the commander of the place. And he wanted to be, want to be the commander of the place that he will be covering from, uh, from heaven to the heads. And uh, he's a very busy person. You know what I mean? As he's talking, he wants to be proud to me that I'm a businessman. That's a very busy person. I told him, my friend, point blank, you cannot be the commander. Right away, appoint somebody that will do the commander for you. Appoint the person now. You cannot do it. And if you are here and you say you're a commander and you don't know me, I don't know you, I know the commander. Let us deceive ourselves. If you are here, ba. And you don't know me, and I don't know you. Even when you know me, I don't know you. You're not a commander. I can DPO, uh, um, uh, a DPO say no, no CP. <laughs> and CP don't even know. You cannot look and say what is your, uh, this person, this is this person's name. There are some of us sitting here now. I don't know you. Do you know I don't know you? Because you're not active. I was surprised. Uh, uh, might be the same. That man, please, sorry. I'm, I'm not trying to bring you down. You, uh, yes. Coco man. I don't know Coco man. And you say he's a commander covering where? No, I said he is going to be helping us to take care of He is helping and helping and commander. Uh, okay, new responsibility. New responsibility now. now. Uh, yes. Uh, okay, fine. But in this environment, he has been active. Fine. <laughs> it was a recommendation from his end. He was not even aware. Fine. No, well, I, no. At least, at least, at least, if you are a commander, you should be coming now. Huh? Let us be, let us be sincere. Uh, no, what I'm, no, don't mind me, don't mind me the way I'm talking. But I want us to know the truth. I want us to do this work, not politics. Let us not do party with this work at all. No, uh, hey, no politics. Us. I want us to be active. If you're not going to be available, tell us you cannot be available. You cannot do it. I pray somebody by yourself. Say this person can do better than me. Let the person do the work for me. It's simple. You must not bear the title. Now that is, that is the night they kill some, some of these uh, country they go now. Some countries see they get leader and the leader and all the country not this stable. Because the leader, the, those who are taking leadership, they are not taking leadership uh, by example, doing what is right. So uh, please, I'm begging you people. And now you can say Amen. We don't have much again though, because most of the division are start requesting for Amen. Collecting Amen from us. 
But it's a good one. That shows that you are doing your work. If division says, ah, because I need the five men, I need ten men, that means you are doing your work. But that, my fear is this again. I was on talk with Goga for a very long time from last night. Long, more than an hour talk. That we have box of names, but we are not seeing them. Some are ghost workers. Some of us, we know that some of the names we submitted, they are ghost workers. I know the number of people we have, the list I have. I know if you can, when I can last time for my motor, moto drop, the phone we submitted. But where are they to do work? And this why it's complaining, and this why the DPO is complaining. Where are your men to work with me? And what to be is complaining? No, I know men to work with her. No, be is complaining. Where are your boys? Who boys complaining? Where are your boys? All the divisions say they need their men to work with them, but we cannot even present them. Uh, the, uh, minister, this uh, uh, waste management board said we should deploy some men for them to work. The, uh, they wrote, the, the letter is my, on my desk, government house. My office is there. Who would submit a letter? We need men to work with them. We need their men to work with them. The letter is there. Who do we send there? Because we cannot see them. I'm going to hold uh, this man responsible for uh, operation. Where are your men? We have box of names. Where are those people now? And the number of commanders we have, they are not even here. If you as a commander, you are not active, how can your followers be active? If as a commander, we cannot take simple instruction, we cannot take advice, how can you govern people? How, do you, how, do you, how, do you, how can you succeed? I give you advice, you don't take. I me give you, you don't take. They send uh, brokers, you do not follow. That means the people are going, that you are going to uh, govern over, be a commander over, <laughs> now let God know what they will do. That is the truth. I also have something. If you are following that platform, Somebody will drop a broadcast that everybody should come to the base. Something is happening, please. I want you to be based right away now. And that person will not drop a different message. The next person, the message you receive it will be a very phony message. Some of you all come and general big mango. <laughs> Covering from heaven to head. Over, over. He have not responded to the last message. Tango Yankee. Tango Yankee. <laughs> see press, see prep. He have not done it. I'll just laugh. I don't look at it. I'll just laugh and I walk away. I look at that message and I walk away. I've seen so many like that. Some of us just drop message. When we say the charge of the waterway, who that one say the commander? Oh, yeah, I mean, OC, who appointed you OC waterways? Who appointed you? Who appoint you? I want to ask question. At which point are we supposed to use our arms? Some of us don't know how to use our arm. Your arm is to protect you when doing operation. It's not to kill the person. It's only when your life is in danger. You need to defend yourself. Some of us think that our arms is to come here to shoot all this bird. After shooting on this bed, if you want to go to operation, you say, ah, okay, we're not going to buy, we're not going to take bad bullet too. But you just finish shooting the bullet you have into the hair. To kill bed that you will not even eat. It's even a sea. To kill something that you don't want to use. And it's not hurting, it's not harming you. You just kill the bed like that. With your bullet oh, that you bought thousands of naira. And after that, you say, I know, I stay gone, I know they try for another bad bullet for us. The one you have, how are you using it? How are you using it? Let us be sincere to ourselves. You don't lose your last bullet, you keep it. You keep it. Even when you are even in danger, you maneuver first to survive first before you even use that your last bullet. Please. Please. If other questions come, remember what you call, I will talk again. But for now, I will sit down. Thank you, sir. Uh, I will sit down. Uh, please. Who is covering the. Uh, Okay, you are not covering the. Uh... I know of a past question, but they just make an introduction that this man that is sitting down here is the governor of this. Yeah, I think he. I'm very happy to see him. I've been seeing him before, but I don't know. Okay, you don't know him personally. Please, sir. I 
I want to beg you, you will help me. There are some uh, boys in Selu. They don't take instruction from me. Yes. For example, Yellow Man. Yellow Man. He said he, the, the other day we went there. So after arresting all those boys, he came on his own. He wanted to be releasing that. I said, You can't do that. He said, He's the, he's the OPC coordinator. Then I told him, I'm the commander in charge of this area. You can't do that. So please, sir. Please. They will go out there. They will go and block road on my behalf. I will not even know they are blocking road. So things like that. They need to, if they are doing it, they need to let me know. Sir. So I will take your number. So if anything like that come up anytime, we'll just call you immediately. That's it. Let me be sorry. Sorry. Sit down. Sorry. I have, I have used it to work, so I want you to rest. Uh, sorry. Uh, we still don't understand, some of us still don't understand uh, this platform, this, this concept of this job. This concept, some of us still don't understand it. The concept of this job, first, is to bring the existing uh, groups who are interested in fighting crime in the state together to fight this fight collectively as one. And the second, this, the, 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 the primary one is to bring all the community together, whatever you belong to, to work under one umbrella. That's how it is. Uh, I want to uh, join to appeal to you and to appeal to every one of us here that whenever you are, like for example, now you say you should cover people by uh, that side or whatsoever. If the prevention, you come across anybody that's there. Whether you are OPCO, you are VGNO, you are Crime VO, you are Hollando, automatically they fall under you. All that social collapse. If any of them do not listen to you, arrest them. Disarm the person. We cannot have two camps inside a camp. Dis disarm the person. But however, if he sees those boys behaving that way, eh, arrest them and disarm them. If you cannot call, you cannot handle yourself, call us. Do you understand? Yes, it's not like somebody came from, I don't know where they brought the people from, from uh, Kobay, you know Kobay, you know? Yes, Tai Joshua. He came here, he said he wants to take, uh, somebody we arrested. Huh? They should give it to him. <laughs> Even when they call him, he was, he was posing for me, he was posing, I said he wants to fight me. <laughs> and I asked, what is your name? Tell me, he mentioned his name. I said, but do you know me? He said, don't know me. Okay. Uh, but he said, you are a commander. So we still have some funny people like that too. So we say there are police special at the courtesy uh, vigilante. If you call them, say, ah, my friend, how are you? Another how are you said they will not answer you. They will tell you they're not working with you. From now and sports. We're not going to tolerate that too. We're not going to tolerate that. Because we tolerate it, we're going to have problem. So we'll not disguise that, that and continue to rob. They'll be going and rob. In fact, all this crisis we are having in this state, community issue, they're all involved. You are surprising, you are surprised I'm saying this. You thought I'm not aware. Everything we have for this paper at the year. But I'll just ignore you as if I did not hear because not everything with him and see the talk. I don't be as if nothing happened. You'll be surprised. I will just tell you what happened in your location. I'll start telling you from here to here. I'll start mentioning you'll be surprised. You think I'm not aware. Even the people that are within your own parlor, your bedroom, that are drank beer together, they are the first to call us in the office. This is what we are doing. This is what we just done. We don't need to spend money to know what is happening in your location, in your community. Please. And please don't call my line. Don't call my line and don't come to us. They arrest one of your boys working with you. Because uh, they met you somewhere else. They met you around one air at night. What are you doing in that place only you alone? They meet you in the cartel. They meet you in, uh, in Grote. And you are saying, because you have arrested you, it's a bad person, it's a bad area. But what are you doing at, at that point in time? Are you, are you on duty in that place? Who put you there? Only you one. You will just be somewhere else. And they will arrest you. Don't come and tell us they seize you and your boss. They don't arrest you, they drive your boss. You know, say anything in the also. Uh, don't say this word, what's the pure? They think they also. And you put on uniform. You cannot use this window and this cab to go and be walking. And so you start driving one way. If your boy drive one way and they arrest your boy, don't come to us. You are your own.
And if you're, if you're any of your boys, shoot gun recklessly and kill somebody. Don't handle the case yourself. Don't come. But if you go for operation, we'll go to operation together and you, you lead the operation, manage the situation. So that they will not put us into trouble. Enough is enough. Do, do we get the point? I do, we were saying something before. What were we saying before? I said, okay, okay, let me end that one now. I hope everybody understand that one now. Do, do you understand? Yes. And don't tell me. Never, nobody, nobody should come and tell me. Don't you know I belong to SSV? Oh. To me, it's not existing for now, for this platform. I think I was coming from somewhere. Somebody was on top of a bike, OPC person. I think there'll be two now. Yeah. OPC, two of them were on top of a bike. They drive rough. We say, why, what are you driving now? He said, you don't know, say I'll be OPC. Yeah. And he went, now drove and go and block us. Parkway. And speak at Parkway. He said, to Parkway. He said, in our OPC. Where do you know, say in our OPC? That's to Parkway. My friend, you sit down your own. Eh? Let me tell you one thing. What I told that man that I said, that is how you poor oppress people in your community. You oppress it because you belong to one thing or the other. It is not good. That, that, is, that was my anger. Because he want to oppress me because he belong to OPC. Don't do that. Though. If somebody report you that uh, you just pass, you slap him. You slap the person, and the person do not commit crime, we will arrest you. Your work is not to oppress, your work is not to oppress anybody. Do you know how many times people have insulted me on the street? I started this work. They will insult me, some will die rough, some will they will misbehave. I'll just keep them quiet. Because it's what you will do to the person that will, not, that will start talking about. Know what the person have done. See, the issue was not a serious issue, I like to go. Let me quickly say this quickly in an hurry. This is not an umbrella to cover your atrocity in this society. This is not an umbrella for you to be doing community issue. This is not an umbrella for you to oppress anybody in the society. If you do that, the road will fall on you. You'll be thinking that we are joking. We have been saying this. We have been saying it over and over. They say one day, every day for the thief, one day for the owner. One day we come. That even the situation will not even save you. It is you that will expose yourself to gender. Don't come and hide there. Hide there. And you are courtist. And you are, you are actively participating in the court activity. And you come and hide. Did anybody who confess and say you are part of them who carried that activity? You will be arrested and will be dealt with seriously. It's not going to happen. And some of us will take our video and send to them. Like what happened last time. They started threatening us and they said they want to kill me. That I supported a group over another group and it's not true. If you do what is wrong, I will tell you. If you do what you said, I will praise you. But only tell them, please, oh, I'm not part of this. I'm not part of this. I said that not because I'm afraid of them. But I want to make myself clear. Just to clear the hair. Not because I'm afraid. The following day, they came to my house. They started shooting gun right my house. And I kept quiet. The authority is already aware of that. And I'm going to take next step against that. In the nearest future. And if you are here, you are still doing that. Do you know what I would describe you? You are a coward. This platform is not designed for that. If you can kill me, if you kill me today, one million one of people like me will say rise up to continue to fight the battle. That will not end the struggle. That will not end the struggle. Crime is crime. Crime is crime. Let us stop those rubbish. I call it rubbish because nobody who say I belong to this and belong to this and build one house and dash you, say take. Now because I belong to this, I make a beauty side, I think I need dash you. Now because I belong to this, I make a few raise money to do this one. It never happened. 
I took the leadership of the campaign against courtesy when I was in school. When I was at Poma. And I came out. And nobody accused me that I was supporting this group over the other group. What do you think will stop me now not to continue to fight, to take the campaign to the four corners of Edo State? Nothing will stop me. No threats will stop me. No black money will stop me. And nobody's bigger than government. After God, in a government. I'm only just appealing to you. Whatever I meet you people, whether it's a small group or a larger group, I always say it. That is not the way to go. That is not the way to go. And that is the truth. That is not the way to go. You can never succeed like that. Some of us are still busy recruiting, quietly, privately, bring them to us. A day will come. We will do operation. Not a sure identity. Head count. We will go to do head count. Open clearance. Even to today, we only have few people who have sworn affidavit. Who said they are renounced their, their membership of any group. Only few. We're waiting for government to take that position. But when they take the position, we maybe we'll work with only that few ones. Other people should go home and continue to practice what you know, what you know best. Then we will do what you work we know best. I know some of us when we were in school, we joined this by ignorance, by intimidation. So I even join because just one girlfriend, you want to get a girlfriend. So for you to get a girlfriend, you have to go and join. When you have one, one million and one million of girls in Benin City. But this is the opportunity for you to say no. Many people call it Alawuki. This is time for you to say Alawuki. This is time for me to stop that uh, rubbish. Let us move forward. Let us progress. In my place, I said you cannot walk forward. Walk forward, you start kicking back again. You don't do that. Who is distracting? No, nobody should distract us, please. Audience, please. We are being distracted. Uh, protocol, you are supposed to coordinate us. You are distracting us with your movement. Anybody that comes late, stay behind. That's how it should be now. Anybody that comes late, you should stay behind. You don't have to bring person forward. Are you celebrating late, late, late coming? So why do you bring man forward? Huh? Then you are distracting us. Who? No, you are distracting us. Are you celebrating late coming? So I'm appealing to you one more time again. Please, that is not the way to go. That is not the way to go. Let us let to do what is right. Because a day of reckoning will definitely come. A day will definitely come. I know no of you are no of you are happy that they are killing people in this Benin city. And those state is not the only state existing in this uh, federation. But we are in the forefront of what is bad, negative. Please, let us stop this rubbish. Let us stop this rubbish. If you know anybody that is doing it, encourage the, the person to stop rubbish. Start, ask the person to stop that rubbish. The other one I'm also going to address on that I did not today. Some of us here took some of our men and began to create bits, be doing bits and be collecting money without my notice, without my information. I called somebody to go and do work for me, said he's, going, he's covering the beats. And who said to the beats? I believe that is not the way to, to go. It's just like for your house, in your house. I believe most of us, we are, we are fathers now, we are family head. You are asking your child to go and buy me, uh, go, go and buy me parasol, man. The child will not tell you that one of the tenants in the house Ask him to go and do something else and we will abandon your own. Without the tenant telling the owner of the house. Or we say one of his son or one of his grandchildren ask him to go and do something and he will abandon your own. It's not done. We call that in, in an operation like this a subordination. I know some of the problems some of us are facing here. It's because we don't have, we call it, my father used to call it, you don't have official character. 
Official character means what do you say? It's not just orientation. It's not just own training. They what we call official character. Official character can only be gotten if you. That is why some company will say we need people with experience who have had experience of working in an office before in an organization who believe in following protocols. You don't be protocol. No matter how big you are, no matter how small you are, there's protocols that must be that must be followed. That must be observed. And, and I know that is most of our problem. We don't know how to follow protocols. So therefore, it's not an excuse anyway, but I will pardon you. Learn from other people too, who learn to follow protocols. That's that, that how it should be. This man do not have the right to jump here and there without the permission of the operation. And the permission do not have the right to do whatever is in mind without my permission. That is what we call protocol. I gave an example two days ago, or yesterday, sir. This market to meet me in Macaulay. Said he wanted to go and do something somewhere before. But he cannot go like that without telling operation. But he cannot even approach the operation like that. He need my, my permission to go and meet operation, to go to where he's going to. And I just laugh. You know that he cannot go there himself, but he know what he's doing. That is the right way to do something. You don't just jump and say you can do it yourself because you have proper job. The pump action call it pump little problem. That's not the truth. That's the way to go. We should learn to do what is right. So I'm begging you guys. I'm saying these things over and over, not because I like talking, but I like us doing what is right. And that is the truth. Your mic is jumping up on my hand. Uh, hmm. Let me give it to you. I know you are easy to stand up no, to talk. No, 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 no. Mm. No, I want to help you. I know. That is why you are here. You. Your brother is here. You are not giving it to talk to no, you. No, yeah, I'll say something. You have to Very well. Yes, everybody. Uh, thank you very much, sir. A point of information, uh, due to the contributions of uh, our brother, even though they have uh, always been up and down, as far as the communication is concerned, please, we want to give you more responsibility. I mean, uh, Officer Ogidigbo, you are going to help us to monitor whatever arrest or case that come up on the platform, you just jot it down, the minute and the hour. So that will be your responsibility from now on. Thank you. Then he gave for the tag, yes. after, after the meeting you can get further clearance. Then for the tags, those that have not gotten their tags, please, more tags are available immediately after the meeting, get it. Then to the commanders who have collected, please, we want to get the names of uh, those who have shared the tags to, so that we can begin to put them on system and uh, regularize uh, the information alongside with the fund as uh, required. Then again, some, other, uh, some of you who are commanders, there is need for us to visit your area. And uh, also, you need to have a banner in your place where you use as a muster point or a secretariat to indicate to other security agencies and uh, community members within that environment that something like this is happening here. Then uh, me, few days ago we had an issue, which uh, uh, my colleague reported several, almost twice, occasion. Since two days we have been watching closely on how to handle that particular area, which is BIU, Ugeokwen Ugboazis. So as God will have it, we have been able to get somebody who is from that environment that can help us to assist then uh, mop other members in addition to it so that we can easily cope the court in and other security uh, challenges in that area. That is uh, somebody of Roland Obano. Please stand up for identification. Then uh, to also is from Ugyokwen. Uh, Ugyokwen is BIU. There is a challenges in BIU. That is the two occasions. You have men. How many do you have? Stand, stand up. Come on, come on, man. Are they active? Yes. They are active. So we, are, we are going to support him with some other method. First of all, do the raking of that area to sanitize it. Then uh, again, to all our VIPs who are the squadron leaders, please be up and doing. Because at this period, you are going to join us in monitoring all the commanders and areas of attention so that we can always uh, uh, address the situation. Uh, recognizing this person doesn't mean we are celebrating lateness. Uh, Kingsley, 
uh, a known as Boring Gate. He's the man you have always been asking. I personally asked him to make sure he's in this meeting who is in Okada. Okada. The man at Okada. Please stand up for recognition. Stand, still stand up. The Kingsley has been an absolute uh, uh, a security man. Okada, stand up. Has been an absolute security man. I believe most of the stakeholders here can attest to what I am saying. And therefore, uh, he is still there. He's still at Okada. A lot of issues arise recently at Okada who have been trying to get the, the true position. Now that you are here, you will see the state coordinator before you leave so that you take note of that. Then again, uh, we want to reiterate there are issues that have been arising from Ikubaha local government where some vigilantes up to date. Specifically, we want to refer this to our brother, Commander uh, Balogman, to take note. Vigilantes in your local government have always give the state a serious uh, uh, attention. In terms of community matters, those that are doing community work, a large number of reports is from your local government. Then again, those who are acting without the concept of the local government and at the state level are also from your local government. One uh, Loxin, another Alaji, another uh, guy. I think if I open my file, I will be able to see that. So please, these persons, see how best you ask them to desist. Above all, we have often seen the uniform of uh, police anti courtism involving, involving in, uh, involving, involving in a uh, 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 communal, communal business. So for now, the responsibility is yours. We will only give you some time to look into it uh, so that before the state uh, finally get uh, the opposition intact. In, in so more so, we want to re-emphasize again. This exercise we are into is not meant for community job. You don't use it to fight your community against another. You don't use it to drag land. But you are in position to settle two communities if they give you ears. If they don't, allow them to be. You can report them to any other security agencies that this is a threat to security as far as that environment is concerned. You can alert us. Then we know other security or appropriate area to direct that matter to. Thank you very much. Please, before the adjournment, let me quickly respond to yeah, what the have just said. Uh, like I said, this uh, joint vigilante network, I think we all are from different groups which make it joint. The one you are referring to, they are not from my group, and I don't believe they are from this place either. Like the Yamaosa, I've seen it once or twice when they formed the vig um, Ibobaha local government vigilante, we are all there together. But we screen him out because we now discover that he's still operating with court activities. So we screen him out. Then the anti courtism special anti courtism squad or whatever, that one, I think uh, Dauda is in best position to explain that. Because, like we, the vigilante group of Nigeria, we have our forms, we have our ID card. You fill your form, we screen you before we can issue you an ID card. The issue when everybody now become a vigilante, I think we need to address that issue. Because most of the vigilante does not have a form. They are not duly registered. And if we are saying, let us screen this joint, uh, don't say joint uh, security network, I think we better start screening, the earlier the better. Because most of the community now, they are all buying polo, buying this, buying that. I say they are all this. Whenever they have problem, at Ipoba, nobody should call me because I'm not aware and they are not working with me. Let me respond to your, your question, your response. Uh, but however, mm, thank you for your response. I appreciate that. Uh, I also love the way you said one or two persons were screened away from it. And it makes my work easier for me. <laughs> That's the truth. It makes it easier for me. 
let me tell you people that are sitting here for what he said for, from his response show that he does not tolerate rubbish he does not condone or cover up for what is bad I must thank you for that that is what he just told us now clearly I must thank you for that if anybody is operating wherever we are and it's not clear to you you have the responsibility to arrest the person it is only we that we can check with ourselves. People will not come and check with us. If I allow police to come and check with us, you are going to give us a problem. If anybody around you is misbehaving, hand over the person to us, and we will hand over to the authority herself. What he has just done now, he has handed over that people to us. That we should hand over to the authority. We are going to do a formal letter to that. We are going to formally handle such issue. Formally, officially. You also mentioned that people are started wearing polo, different name, and they are not fully registered, and they are not trained. It's also, also a concern to us. But however, you know this program, at this state's joint community security network, the program is basically for the community, the community should work in synergy to bring security to the doorstep of everybody in their community. We encourage every community to come up with a structure even streets to come up with a structure. I think that is one of the reasons why other group comes up. Even when the church comes up to, those who are taking the leadership should not be so concerned about pretty polo, pretty cap, pretty article for them, when you don't even know their intention. Some of them even know their intention. Their intention to do what is wrong, but will still recruit them. Personally, I was conscious some time ago about this, and I stopped in totality. And I stop. If you recruit an arm robber and you give it to us, the day the person will be confessed, we will pick you, we will pick the person, we will pick you too. But sometimes we may do something by ignorance. And we will know that one. We will know what is ignorance. After Afrom, let me see one month back, when we mentioned this thing, Afrom, I don't know one month ago. A month ago, after a month ago, from, from that date, come here. For we'll add the person, when did you start? And he said about two weeks ago. And the person come here, we'll hold the person, who you? Anybody you know in your community? Anybody you know in your community? That the community will not give in the leadership position in the community. Why bring him in here? Anybody you know in your community? Cannot be trust. Why bring the person here? Anybody you know in your community that cannot is not trustworthy. Why bring the person here? Anybody you know in your community or in that community that nobody will be happy to see him or her around the around uh, people. Why bring the person? Anybody in your committee that you ask him to come here, he cannot be bold enough to come here to assume with people. Why bring the person? Why bring the person? Let us be honest to ourselves. Somebody that cannot be trustworthy, somebody that you yourself cannot even trust the person with just simple something. Why bring the person? I don't know understand. Somebody who cannot even show an, a hold of not belonging to any group. Why bring the person? So we have to be very careful so that we will not put ourselves into a mess. That's just the truth. One more time, I want to thank you for coming. I also want to thank people who came late. And some of us are becoming habitual late comer. And no problem. Maybe in time we will repent. Maybe in time I'm not come for us to repent. But I, I know in the near future we will repent. Uh, it's not a good way. It's not a good one. That you are known for being late as a security man. Also, be a, you're not supposed to be a late comer. I know all of us. We are a busy people. We are busy. Some of us do school on for coming, but it shouldn't happen all the time. We should be known for late coming all the time. We should be known for late coming for you consume up to one hour, two hours, three hours all the time. 
I used to go and judge those people. No, I may not go make much mistake. Mm. I used to go and judge those people, please. Mm. For, for they will compound issue for us. Mm. So we shouldn't be what to see me. Thank you. So who will hold the brief for me? Come and hold the brief. Oh, no, no. So what uh, well, uh, let me let me thank uh, the coordinator for his uh, enthusiasm in handling the affairs of uh, this organization. However, for those uh, commanders who deliberately refuse to attend this meeting, please protocol, take notes. For those commanders who deliberately refuse to attend this uh, function, take notes. So it's a deliberate attempt. Accept those on conviction. Uh, once more, we want to thank you for your coming. And uh, we hope to invite you soonest to another round of meeting. But however, there's something new a, a community did. You see this whole file? It represents the Yogi community. What they did on their own, they created this file and uh, run it with their affidavits. So something like this is a beautiful one. So we want you, those who have not submitted their own, do it like this so that it will be, it will be a very good one for safekeeping. Modify your own to this level. So we thank you very much for coming and uh, we wish you success back to your various uh, destinations. Finally, uh, somebody should lead us with uh, a closing prayer. I think, uh, Chief, a report. Immediately after the meeting, you just let us know. Okay, just briefly, just say it. Just say it, say it. I met uh, one Vilanti uh, guy yesterday. He told me that the commander who is under came with some weapon flogging the presence of his wife. I asked him what happened. Why did they flog him? Tell me, Kobo, can I try to do on his face? So, what you do, you bring him. I don't see what happened. It's okay, sir. Ask that man to come down so that we do the follow up. Thank you, sir. So, can you give us a closing prayer, sir? Right. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you for all that you have done and for what you are yet to do. Give us, O oh God, wisdom and understanding to fulfill all that we have promised in the name of Jesus Christ, that there be peace in this land. Thank you, Abba Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Abba, our talk, So, uh, those of our major stakeholders, please stay back, because uh, you have...